People call me Caveman Cody for different reasons. Uh, my knuckles are still a little scabby, but mostly it's because uh, I've been with Defending the Caveman for, I think, 13 years now. Defending the Caveman is all about men, women, how we're different, and how sometimes those differences lead to misunderstandings. If I read the paper, Raya will try and talk to me. Because, I mean, she knows that she can read a paper and talk to me at the same time. Yeah, must be nice. I have to put my finger down. <laughs> it has this really interesting meld of stand-up comedy meets theatricality. Uh, but in the end, it's just one man telling a story that everyone in the audience can relate to. It started off in 1991, toured all around the nation, played in all 50 states. It has played in 45 different countries around the world at this point spoken in 18 different languages. We have the record of being the longest running one-man show in Broadway's history, and now the longest running Broadway show in Las Vegas history. The only prerequisite you need to enjoy the show is to have loved someone enough to have been completely frustrated by them at some point. We get all kinds of couples who come to this show. I've had a couple who was celebrating their uh, 55th wedding anniversary who came up after a show and said, wow, that was, that was us. I performed this show all around the nation, and I, I love bringing it back to Colorado. I'm a Colorado boy. I grew up in Durango. I uh, went to Colorado State, and uh, when when my wife and I decided we we're going to have a kid, we wanted to raise him in the Rocky Mountains. So it's great to be back here. It's great to be back at the DCPA. Yeah, I live here. I uh, <coughs> I've seen you in the grocery store.